So you got a flat tire with your Toyota RAV4 2012 to 2018. Doesn't matter if it's the front tire or the back tire. I'm gonna show you where the spare is, where the jack is, and how to change your tire. So your spare tire is underneath this panel here. So there's a little piece of fabric here. Just pull this up. It lifts the first panel, and then you pull the other panel up. So you're going to have to turn the knob here to have access to it. After you get this off, our spare tire is free to get removed. Your spare tire on those cars takes 60 PSI of pressure. So make sure that once or twice a year when you change your tire from winter tire to summer tire and vice versa, you adjust your air pressure and fuel tire. You don't want to be stuck on the side of the road with a flat spare tire. You're going to notice that beside the spare tire compartment, uh, there is another little compartment here. And this is where you're going to find all of your bars in order to remove your tire and loose up those wheel nuts. But now there's no jack in here. The jack for this car is actually onto the passenger side underneath this panel here. So you fit your end underneath here and you just pull towards you. Like this, that panel completely takes off. Uh, there's two knobs at the bottom. When you go to put it back, you put it back like this and then you push it back and it just clips through this clips at the top here. So the jack is in here, but it's nice and tight. How do you take it off? It is nice and tight because the top of the jack is pushing against this bracket here and the bottom of the jack is pushing against the back bracket. So now you want to turn your jack to compress it a little bit more. So you're going to grab the knob at the top and turn it counterclockwise. And this actually folds the jack on the self. Now you can take the top off and slide it up like this. It's on this bag exactly. So you have the first bar here, I have a hook on there. This is to actually raise and lower your jack through this hole. You have your second bar, which actually goes with this bar to raise your jack. I'll show you that in a second, but also is the right size for your wheel nuts here so you can start loosening up everything. And the third thing that's in the bag, it's if you ever need to get tow, that's the tow piece that screw into the back or the front of your car so that the tow truck can hook it without breaking anything. Where do you put the jack? Now, under every cars and pickup trucks, there is some specific spot to raise your car so you don't go right through the bottom of the vehicle. So I'm gonna show you that. You will find that right underneath the plastic on the side of the vehicle here. You'll see there's always a couple notch into where the metal is folded right here. This is by the rear tire. And if we follow that by the front tire, we have those notches there too. This is where your jack needs to go to. So now you're gonna grab this knob here and we're gonna turn it clockwise. As you're turning it clockwise, the screw here is turning. It's bringing this part closer and it's screwing in this part too. That's why the jack is, is lifting up. Now, remember that notch here that we were talking about earlier? So that actually goes on each side of the fold in your vehicle where you're jacking it up. Those style of jack, they're not the greatest. They're a little bit, bit tilty. Uh, make sure that you have your parking brake on your vehicle and uh, you know if you can use a better jack use a better jack this is good for on the side of the road if you're in a jam just make sure you don't go underneath the vehicle using those style of jack without a jack stand anyway now we're gonna grab this bar here with the hook the hook fits right into this hole here at the other end of the bar there's that little pin here, a little clip that helps stuff stay together. And we're going to use this bar here that's for a wheel nut. You see that there's the square cutout. The square cutout is for this piece of the bar actually. We're going to want to put this with the piece for the socket 
extending out towards us. Yeah, pass that little clip here. Like that's not going anywhere. Now with the bar sticking straight towards us, we're gonna grab the bar with one end. Doesn't matter if it's top or bottom like this. The other bar where there's the bend here, we're grabbing that with our other end and we're gonna start turning clockwise and it's raising the vehicle. You turn counterclockwise to lower it. Now before we raise the vehicle too high and the tire doesn't touch the ground, it's still touching the ground right now, there's a little tip for you. So now we're going to grab our bar here and it's way easier to loosen the loose up the wheel nuts before your tire is completely raised off of the floor. Put it in here. So there's a couple tricks. Depending where who put your last tires on, those wheel nuts might be tight as hell if they haven't been torqued properly. Or if they've been put on properly, they'll be nice and easy to remove. It's still a little bit hard, but easier that if somebody just yank it with the gun and then know what they were doing which some of the shop out there are doing that. Um, so now you want to try to push, put, put your end on the bar at front here and then try to push with the other end. And then I can do this, but if you're stuck and it doesn't work, then you can always use your feet to be careful. The end of the bar is a little bit sharp, it's pointy. So don't uh, rub that against your calf. You're gonna put your foot like this, and then you can push down. Make sure that the bar is not slipping. If you have somebody else with you, they can hold the bar in, make sure it doesn't come out. So you can try that. If that didn't work and you need to put more of your weight into it, and turn around, face the vehicle, put your hand on the vehicle or on the roof, and then just jump. And now your, your wheel nut are loose. At this point, the vehicle is not raised. So you do not want to remove the wheel nuts. They are staying on the vehicle. You just want to break them free. So you're going to do that all the way around. Now, if your vehicle came with a lock nut, you might have a lock nut key. You can find that usually into your glove compartment or your center console. So that key here have the special pattern to remove that specific lock nut. Uh, and then on the other side here, this is the same size that your regular wheel nut and so it will fit into the socket. Now one little tip about those key is never use that on an impact driver. That will break the little lock key pattern. Uh, your tire is raised up. Take all of your wheel nuts off. Now that all of our wheel nuts are off, we can remove the tire. Now, if your tire is not loose like this and it's really tight and hard to remove, then you can kick the top of your tire with your foot like this. And that usually helps to break them apart. You might have to do that a few times. Also make sure that your jack then lower a little bit and your tire is not touching the ground because if that's touching the ground it's going to be hard to remove too. So now you can do this. If your tire is a little bit high and you have trouble to hold it, the trick for that is you're going to use your legs like this. And then grab the tire on both sides with both of your end and then just raise your feet a little bit will push your arms up and you'll be able to take this tire out of here. Now you can put your spare tire on, lining up your stud, your wheel stud, with the holes into your tire here. So you're gonna bring this as close as you can. It's usually easier if you stop by putting your tire in an angle like this. And then you're going to use again the trick with the knee to help with your end there and then rotate and lift the tire until you get the first stud starting and then after that you can rotate your tire back and forth to get the rest of the stud starting lift your tire a bit push in make sure that you're pushed in all the way around here 
and then you're gonna start your wheel nuts. Now usually spare tires are not full size, they're for temporary use only. Uh, they can't go a crazy amount of kilometers, so don't pass 80 kilometers an hour, so probably 45 or 50 miles an hour. And then as soon as you can go to a shop, go and get it replaced. Now the trick to tighten your wheel nuts so you don't lose the tire on the side of the road, uh, especially a temporary tire, and if you're not used to installing tire, you're going to want to tighten the nut as much as you can when the tire is still raised off the ground but we're going to do a star pattern so always try to go across and then after you're done doing a star pattern and you think you did all the wheel nuts then usually I recommend go over once around to make sure everything is kind of tight and even and that you didn't miss one Now that our tire is touching the ground, we can give it a little torque here. I'm assuming you're doing that on the side of the road with those parts here because you don't have access to a torque wrench like this to make sure that your wheel nuts are torqued properly. So here's the trick for that so you don't lose the tire. So remember a trick about pushing it, that bar here with your foot that I show you to remove the wheel nut if they're nice and tight. Well, we're gonna do this again, but to put them on. So what you're going to do first is make sure again that you're putting it as hard as you can by hand or hard enough. And then what we're going to do is put the bar, always put the bar at 90 degrees like this or a little bit like, you know, close to 90 degrees here parallel to the ground so that uh, you don't end up hurting yourself with the end of it and then what we're going to do is just push it with our foot just like so and we're going to do all of them exactly like this you don't have to really over torque it as long as you pretty much like went from 90 to 45 degree angle so you know like kind of in this angle here uh, that was that's probably tight enough now I would after you drive for maybe like 20 kilometers I would get out of the car on the side of the road again and double check the wheel nuts again just to make sure that nothing got loose uh, it was probably muddy dirty you know you get a flat on the side of the road and then hurry to fix it up so pull at a safe place and then try to torque those wheels again or give it a little extra squeeze there to make sure nothing came loose then you're good to go after that i wouldn't be driving more than maybe a hundred kilometers with a tire like this if you're really stuck you can push it more but i recommend go as fast as you can to go get uh, your old tire replaced or or patch or fix now after you're done put your jack back in you wind it all the way back down then you're gonna keep this part towards the top the bottom part that goes on the ground is going towards your tailgate uh tail light yeah fit it going in first you want to turn this clockwise so that there's pressure on each side and then it's not getting out of there now you can put your panel back in. That's it. If you like that video, you consider it useful, please consider helping by clicking subscribe and like. If you own the Toyota RAV4 from 2012 to 2018, I got little tricks, another video about that. So you can, uh, you should go and check out the playlist. You might have something there that is an easy fix that I can show you how to do. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.